Hello? What the hell is going on up there? Well, I'm sorry you all feel the way you do, but I walked away from an illegal war of aggression being fought 6,000 miles away from our shores. Better there than here where all my stuff is. So what, you, you figured you'd just let him get away with 9-11? Mr. Griffin, Iraq had nothing to do with 9-11, and the war we started in Iraq has killed a half a million of their people, which is like 200 9-11s. So I guess those moments of silence we had at those sporting events meant nothing to you. I'm just saying this war is wrong. Son, your job isn't to decide whether it's right or wrong. Your job is to follow orders. Well, that's what the Nazi soldiers did, isn't it? They followed orders. You're saying our troops are like the Nazis? No, I'm just saying that blindly following orders has resulted in the deaths of millions of people throughout history. You know, I have not talked to Carol all night. Carol, how are you? Look, I, I think you guys are all rushing to judge Kevin without knowing what it was like to be in his shoes. He saw horrific things in a horrific war that only one other person here could possibly come close to understanding. Ida. She was in the military. She's seen battle. She's seen innocent people butchered by war machines. And I'm sure that Ida, more than anyone else here, can understand and support the choice that Kevin made. No, Brian. I do not understand Kevin's choice, and I do not support it. Okay, well, that's just some dumb drag queen. Son, when you go to war, you don't end up fighting for your country, or your family, or your flag. You're fighting for your fellow soldiers there in the foxhole with you. You walked out on those men, and that's what's most unforgivable. You know what, everyone? Forget it. Up till today, you guys thought I was dead. Well, I'm not. But after all this... Dad, you may as well take me to prison, because right now, I wish I was dead. If anyone has wanted whipped cream on their pie, it's not my fault. I can't get a word in edgewise around here. Kevin, I don't want to lose you again. But I do have a job to do. So get moving, because there's at least one Swanson man in this room who does his duty. Duty means poop. It does. Are you, Dad? Are you the only one who does his duty? That's not how I remember it. What are you talking about? You don't remember, do you? I was in first grade. You took me out with you on one of your shifts. I just think it's presumptuous. I mean, come on, the country's best yogurt. You know, prove it. Show me your data. Help! Police! That man's a thief! Go get him, Dad! Reach for the sky, dirtbag! What the hell? I I'm sorry, officer. I, I was just trying to feed my family. I don't care what you were trying to do. You broke the law. I know. I, I didn't know what else to do. I have three very wide-eyed children to feed. Wide-eyed children are the hungriest. Kids, Daddy has to go away for a while, okay? Take care of Mommy until she dies tomorrow. It's okay, Daddy. I'll be the man of the shack while you're gone. <coughs> Ah, uh, listen. There's been a mistake. I'm not here to arrest your father. You're not? No, son. I just came over to tell you what a great guy your father is and how hard he's been working for all of you. Wait, you're letting me go? I don't understand. Well, I'm not sure I do either. I know the law says I have to arrest you, but sometimes the law is just a piece of paper. There's right, there's wrong, and somewhere in between, there's life. You folks have a good day. I never forgot what you did. Well, thanks for coming, you guys. You know what you were doing that day, Dad? You were breaking the law. You knew what your duty told you you were supposed to do. But instead, you did what you thought was right. I haven't thought about that family in years. I think about them all the time. And the example you set for me that day, it's the very reason I left Iraq. It sucks how early I have to work. Ah, uh, well, Kevin. I still can't say that I agree with your choice. Not one bit. But I suppose sometimes a man has to do what he thinks is right. And if that's what you thought was right, I guess I can't accept it. I'm glad you're home, son. Me too, Dad. You know, there's still some pumpkin pie left, everyone. That sounds good to me. Me too. Hey, happy Thanksgiving to us all, huh? Wait! That man's an imposter! I'm the real Kevin Swanson! Guys, I don't think we have time for this.